hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're seeing this video just know that you're a special member in this community and i am grateful that you are here in this video i want to show you how i have used garden soil to pot some plants for my clients in her garden so first of all come with me to my client's garden this is seven to eight weeks or so after preparing her soil before planting so we're here to put some plants in her garden and just do a general maintenance if you've been following me for a while this garden should be familiar to you we planted this conkerberry as a seedling last year and it is already fruiting this year well it takes conkerberry six months to grow and start flowering to produce these beautiful delicious berries so i'm happy to see that they are fruiting in my client's garden and she has about two trees it's just that they have wicked thorns so you have to be very mindful very demure <laughs> these are the thorns when you're harvesting the fruits the fruits they look like like uh, blueberries but they are they are the same size with blueberries and they are delicious as well so they are weeds covered all over some plants she has lost some plants like um kale that's curry down there this was from last year and then this is mulberry i remember planting about two yeah she has two mulberries we planted two mulberry seedlings last year and they are already fruiting so we just need to prune the kings this is her snake tomatoes and they have just harvested so much from it and i'm so happy to see that it is still fruiting the fruits are also very huge they come out so huge and they're still enjoying it you can use the snake tomato as a regular um, tomato replacement the color is amazing i have a video here on my youtube channel as well so you can watch that to see how i grew them from seeds so we're going to take out some weeds arrange the ridges and pot some plant weeds inside this longevity spinach there are some weeds that i would want you to remove sure you can see something like this so you just use your hand or put it from the roots so that they don't grow back wow look at that so the weeds just weed out all these things and then uproot the all the greens and drop here most of the weeds in her garden are edible and medicinal i'm going to take out some of the stonebreaker herb tea which i've talked about it's medicinal uses so i started collecting some important weeds that i would put back into their garden like this curry that i got there is green as well there is scent leaf the most of these weeds are things that we planted for them last year weeds are just unwanted plants that fell from no, don't the add, mother don't plant don't mix the scent leaf and the okay. and the green together we don't need the scent leaf i think they have they already have what is wrong with <laughs> this is it. the hole is too small you know they take this place with them i dare they open them no hold on make them open them for you after use your hands I can make them easy for you after use this. Fire easy. would have been better. I'm gonna fire this and over work. All these areas. All these ones. Mm -hmm. No, I don't know now. Hold on now. Don't do the two at once. Is that okay? Is that not okay? We don't know. So this spinach is too much. We we'll have to use a um, knife to cut. No, you're not. We we'll put fresh soil in there. Yeah, so finally, the most important part of this video. Let me show you how to pot your plant using garden soil. We are cutting up some plantain trunk so that we can put this them the inside yeah. the wow. pot first. 
cut them into pieces put them inside the pot they are going to decompose very fast so we are going to take some leaves that we picked up a few days ago put them in the pots load it up with some leaves these guys are going to decompose especially that plantain truck and also add nutrients to your soil while they are decomposing not only that it also helps with training mm -hmm. that's the one that we packed from that place d-line yeah so when you're potting with garden soil just know Maybe that you will <laughs> have to top up with <laughs> more right. soil or compost at yeah. some point so if they are coming if you notice that the level of your garden soil is coming down you can top up with more garden soil or compost yes 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 Let me start with that one. Mm. The plantain trunk and the leaves helps with drainage as well. Some people like to put rocks, but I found out that putting rocks make, makes the soil, makes the pot very heavy. So I also use, I'm sure you've seen in some of my videos where I used coconut husk. So we're filling up the pot with garden soil. This soil has already been prepared properly. A month ago, this is even over a month when we came for maintenance. So the idea of planting in a pot is not to use the same soil forever. Do not expect to have same soil in your pot for a very long time. You are either topping up with more garden soil or compost or amending the soil so properly soil here. or changing the soil i prefer to change the soil so this is a time that we planted in this garden in a pot a concrete pot with same garden soil and look at how good the plant still looks So I'm putting some plants like the oregano, parsley, basil. This is all that we did today. We took out all the weeds, arranged the ridges, planted celery on one bed, kale on one bed. Google has a bed and we'll climb up this trellis. Then we took out some weeds from the longevity spinach, prunes, the mulberry, potted some herbs and some veggies as well like kale and then we also potted tiny lettuce cleaned up the place, trims her scent leaf and mulched some plants. We put, we gave her two beds of water leaf because she said she wanted a lot of water leaf. And that's it for the day. So I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.